Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm glad you could join me. Sit back and relax and think about this for a couple minutes. I'm going to stop your chipping woes completely. I'm going to give you three different ways of doing it. The first way is the conventional way. You could use a 5 iron, a 7 iron, and a 9 iron to chip with. I like doing this. 5 for the long chip shots, 7 for the medium chip shots, and 9 iron for the short chip shots. Let me show you the method, and let me show you how easy it is to use. Watch. If you have a small chip shot to this pin over here, put the ball in the middle of your stance. Put a little weight on your left leg, and push the handle over to your left leg. And from here, make an arm swing with a little chop of the club head. Okay? Here it is again. Ball in the middle of your stance. Weight on your left leg, and handle on your left side. I'll do it face on. Ball in the middle of your stance, weight on your left leg, handle on your left side, and from here, it's an arm swing where you swing up and down with a little chop. Let's try it again. Now, if you have to go to a little further shot, let's take a 7 iron. Don't change the golf swing. Same golf swing, same method, but a golf club that will send the ball a little further. This will probably go back up towards that pin. Ball in the middle of your stance, weight left, handle left, arm swing. And if you can see from the tape, it goes a little bit further. Now let's just say that you had to hit a golf shot where the ball was, had to go all the way to the back of the green. And that now you're going to use a 5 iron. Here it is, ball in the middle of the stance, weight left and handle left, same golf swing, an arm swing with a chop, and that 5 iron will send the golf ball a lot further. Now. Some of you struggle with your short chip shots. And if the grass is mowed down like it is here in Arizona at this beautiful golf course, I don't ever hesitate to putt the golf ball. Do everything the same that you normally do when you cut, putt a golf ball. The only challenge is, is that sometimes it comes out of the rough bouncing a little bit or, the, or when the fairway is mowed and it's not perfect like the putting green. Now here's the last tip for you. Some of you struggle with your conventional chip shots and you don't like to putt the golf ball. So why don't you try this utility wood. This is my three iron. The difference is, is that it's built like a wood. So the bottom of it, the sole plate, is a little bit longer and it'll stop you from stubbing the golf ball. So here it is. I'm going to approach it just like a putt. Grip it like a putter, stand to it like a putter, and stroke it like a putter. And if you do that, the golf ball will take off and head to the hole. And that's when you use a utility golf club. I hope this gives you some insight into making your short game a little easier when you're in and around the fringe. Don't forget to putt. Use a flat face club like a putter. Try your three wood. Try your four wood. And lastly, do the conventional way. And I guarantee you they'll help you. Thanks, and have a great day.